It's time for the Cine Massacre Podcast. And now, the hosts with the most, James, Kieran, and Justin. But first, a message from today's sponsor. The Halloween season is almost upon us, and today's sponsor fits like a glove, or should I say condom. Either way, become the ultimate vampire in V Rising. In this open world survival game, you'll gather resources and hunt for cum in nearby settlements to grow your strength. Do what it takes to come. Play vrising.com. Welcome back to the Cinemassacre podcast. Let's go. <laughs> Commodore 64 episode. Uh, what'd you think of that one? Uh, ton of footage. Yeah. yeah. It was the wild west of gaming because there wasn't really any, like, strange. Yeah, people just making stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff right now. Was, uh, you know, we just finished up that music video for uh, Rex Viper, Eye of the Tiger Electronics. You know, think of these music videos as like an extension of AVGN. So it's all about how the Tiger Electronics and how they stood up to the Game Boy. I, no one knows. I mean, it's just because they were cheaper, I guess. We have Monster Madness coming up. Monster Madness has been very educational. We're posting them on the website on cinemassacre.com, which, you know, we haven't really used the website for much. It's doing... coming back now. It'll be a place where you can go and see yeah, things. Because these videos are too brutal for YouTube. Uh, they... You know, they have gore in them, everything. So, um, you know, it's 31. It's a full marathon. They're all edited with just my voice in them. Like, there's no other, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, shenanigans, and that's it. And it, it was a huge, huge undertaking for this one. And uh, it's just really fascinating to see each country. Yeah, I'm really excited about this, because it's it might be the best Monster Madness ever. He starts with the usual tropes. Mankind's experiments go haywire, resulting in destructive results. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever heard of an Egyptian country? You know, we're going to get into some weird stuff. So uh, just, okay, what is the best shark movie? Like, seriously, what do you guys think? I don't really watch too many shark movies. I've oh, never watched Jaws. Really? Yeah, I've never watched. I've only seen Jaws oh, three. You, you're never, oh my one. god! You've never seen the first Jaws. Okay, wow. Well. The best shark movie, and to be honest, you know what I think? Jaws four. The and Revenge. The Revenge. Jaws four. Now that's a shark movie because that one, it's just a shark fucking shit. I can't believe how well it, it held up. You see the shark a lot in this movie, and it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's like chomping on people. Also, didn't realize how much the, the NES game uh, borrowed Far from, from Jaws 4. You guys were playing it the other day on stream, yeah. and Rob was telling you, oh, that's from, th that's from this movie and that. It has the little yellow submarine that the guy gets in. It sounds like a Beatles song. Yeah, but, that uh, song is fucking weird. Now, here's something really funny. I was in Frontier Town with my family not too long ago in Maryland. They have a shark there that they claim is the shark from Jaws. Mm. It just says, like there's a, a sign in the front that says this is an actual prop from the movie Jaws. It's clearly not because there's no way it could be. They say on the same sign, Jaws was from 2000. We all know it was, it was 75 or 76, 75 I think. Uh, or 76. No, it was 75. Uh, a shark ate me. A motherfucking <laughs> shark ate me. Drink, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna um, drink. Yeah. So, I have a Bruh. picture of this somewhere. Let me find it. It says, it, it was the summer of 2000 when a great white man-eating shark called Jaws came to town. And So, you couldn't get it more wrong if you tried. I mean, this is a picture I took. That's yeah. fucking... I got pictures of my kids, like, playing on it. You know, mm. um, but I saw it when it was still fresh and it was moving. And speaking of Paramount ruining everything, um, there's more Star Trek shows in production nowadays than have ever existed previously. Mm. Wow. You have uh, Discovery, Picard, Short Treks, Lower Decks, Prodigy that's coming out, Brave New Worlds, and there's some other stuff coming out. Endless trash! Oh, and, but these are, these are all shows going on at the same time. And they're all on Paramount Plus, and they're all being show run by Alex Kurtzman, and it... Ugh. And the best Star Trek show nowadays is the fucking Orville. Yeah, the Orville's great. Uh, Yafet in it, rest in peace, uh, Norm McFucking Donald, what the hell? Like, yeah. I can't even believe that. Oh, I felt nothing yeah. on that. I, I think but it, it was just, I don't know. But yeah, I guess speaking of movies no one remembers, let's talk about Atlantis. Well, uh, let me ask you guys a question. Do you believe in UFOs? Astral projections, mental telepathy, clairvoyance, ESP, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, trans mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, 
Hunter and the Theory of Atlantis. As long as there is a paycheck, I'll believe anything you want. And this begins our segment of Is It Fucking So Atlantis, what do you guys think? I think yeah. it's real. I mean, uh, there's, you know, uh, I think it's like, oh, we're a bunch of mermaids and sea creature people. No? Oh, you mean the lost city of Atlantis, not the luxury hotel in the Caribbean? In like the Mediterranean area where, it, you know, it's not as, no? No. I thought it was like a, well, like a okay. Grecian. Oh, you know what? Just tell us about Atlantis, James. Okay, you're very right. excited. Well, well, like, it leaves a lot to the imagination. That's why we care so much. Because when you're talking about mermaids and stuff like that, you know, it... But the question is, was it just a story or was was it uh, a real account? And the only thing we have to go by is Plato. A lot of shit going on back then. Yeah, but when would... So it... Keep looking for Atlantis in the Mediterranean. So look, look where he actually explains it in the fucking pages. I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. How do you feel about oh. the Aquaman connection? That's what it's made for. It's... Oh, f is it? Next time, UFOs. All right. But uh, yeah, I guess it's time to move into yeah. our Q&A. All right. Uh, this is from Lulipop36. Has a video game story ever made any of you cry? Zelda, Link to the Past, when um, he has to play the flute. There's just something about that that, uh, you know, really makes me cry. Gears of War 2 and 3. The cool thing about it was like the co-op was very, you player 2 and player 1 is like Lance and Bill. Like neither one is... Mm -hmm. Uh cry the end of metal gear solid 3 wow at code tweeting has making abjn episodes become a chore i feel we have way like too much <sighs> shit going on right now this is a big deal doing a convention again but i'm really excited to get out there and uh great job everybody but uh yeah let's round it out all right and we're heading into the halloween season yeah and see you next to Thanks for listening to this episode of the Cinemassacre Podcast. See you next Tuesday. Remember to like this episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below. Oh my god, this is like so many hours to put in. Like this is a, this is a serious commitment. Like like you could take some kind of class and graduate in the time it takes to